When extreme transformations take place over a short period of time, or somebody goes well above or below their optimum weight, the risks can outweigh the reward. Nevertheless, fighters, in particular mixed martial artists, are a different breed. Weight gain or loss is all a part of the job as far as they're concerned. Whatever the reasons, there is no denying that the stars of the UFC deserve a large pat on the back for their grueling efforts. But for now, they'll just have to settle for a list. I'm Gareth from What Culture Combat, and here are the 10 best body transformations in UFC history. Number 10, Georges St. Pierre, four years to rebuild. Georges St. Pierre was a two time welterweight champion and defended the belt a mind boggling nine times, the most consecutive defenses in the division. He also claimed a middleweight title and has had more comebacks than probably, I don't know, Robbie Williams. In his most recent return in 2017, GSP moved up a weight class from welterweight to middleweight and packed a decent amount of muscle onto his usually slender frame. If you look at GSP in his last weigh in at welterweight, way back in 2013, you see a man who looks as though he's been crafted by an artist. Fast forward to 2017, and the former champ looked as though he had sacrificed that definition in order to pack the sort of power needed to be dominant at middleweight. It worked. Gaining 15 pounds, GSP clinched the title from Michael Bisping by submission in his first bout at the weight. Number 9. John Jones, Skinny to Ripped After being suspended in 2015 and having to relinquish his light heavyweight title, John Jones found himself with a lot of time to think about his actions. John Jones would begin powerlifting and go on to add a substantial 23 pounds to his system since his fight with Daniel Cormier earlier that year, revealing a new body that looked more equipped for a Mr. Olympia contest than the Octagon. In the space of seven months, Jones had gone from a criminal to a man that had got himself into the shape of his life. We all know how things would unfold down the road, and Jones's failed drug tests can't be ignored when keeping this transformation in mind. Still, at the time, it was a shocking change in such a short space of time. Number 8, Ronda Rousey, 17 pounds in a day. On the Ultimate Fighter Team Ronda Rousey versus Team Misha Tate, the two coaches would be the first ever female teachers on the show, helming teams of both male and female competitors. Entering the semi-final round of the competition, Anthony Gutierrez and David David Grant, both Team Rousey, were set to face off. Gutierrez found himself four pounds overweight and had an hour to lose the excess in order to take part in the contest. He decided against it and forfeited the bout. Rousey, ever the hard worker, wanted to set an example for her team and offered to cut the weight in Gutierrez's place in order to get him back in the fight. Rousey, weighing in at 152 pounds, would jump in the sauna and stay there for five hours. The next day, as the rest of the teams arrived at the coach's challenges, the coach sat pretty at just 135 five pounds. She helped warm up her fighter for the competition before stepping onto the scales in front of the teams to highlight her insane loss. That's why she's the baddest woman on the planet, ladies and gentlemen. Number seven, Jared Cannonier, heavyweight to middleweight. In his UFC debut at UFC 182, 240 pound heavyweight Jared Cannonier would be knocked out by Sean Jordan in the first round. The killer gorilla would then drop down to light heavyweight for his next few bouts, and had reasonable success with wins over Cyril Asker and Ion Kutalaba. Yet he still found difficulty with losses against Glover Teixeira and Jan Blahovic. In an extraordinary turn of events, Cannonier would announce in 2018 that he will be dropping down to middleweight, weighing in at just 100 185 pounds. Cannonier performed incredibly in his middleweight bow, defeating David Branch by TKO and earning a Performance of the Night award in the process. If that middleweight debut wasn't enough, Cannonier would then go on to cripple Anderson Silva with a kick in their UFC 237 clash. Number 6, Anthony Johnson, welterweight to weightlifter. Almost a decade ago, Anthony Johnson took on Charlie Brenneman at a gaunt 170 pounds and would devastate the man inside the first round with a vicious kick KO. However, Johnson notoriously struggled with his weight cutting and even found it difficult to hit 185 pounds consistently. The UFC were sick of his missing of the cut and severed their ties with him in 2012. Upon his eventual return to the octagon, settling into a comfortable 205 pound light heavyweight division. He KO'd five of his eight opponents and was only defeated by Daniel Cormier. Johnson would eventually retire and took the decision to add on a decent amount of muscle in his downtime. Rumble now weighs in at a frightening 285 pounds and would consider returning to the octagon as a heavyweight, with current light heavyweight champion John Jones also in his sights. 
Number 5. Darren Till, New Kid to Gorilla When Darren Till grabbed all the headlines in 2018 with his bettering of Stephen Wonderboy Thompson at a UFC fight night event in his home city of Liverpool, the stage was set for him to eviscerate the welterweight division. Dana White had something a little bit bigger in mind for the Gorilla. Literally. After Till lost his title shot against welterweight champion Tyrone Woodley and his follow-up fight with Jorge Masvidal, he listened to the advice of the man up top and made the decision to jump up to middleweight. It meant he would be fighting at a more comfortable weight, but also opened up the potential for some powerhouse brawls. Enter Kelvin Gastelum, fresh off the back of a UFC interim middleweight championship loss to Israel Adesanya. Till won their clash at UFC 244 via split decision and looks set to really make his mark on one of the most competitive competitive divisions in the company. This body transformation may go down as one of the wisest in UFC history. Number 4. CM Punk – Pro Wrestler to Legit Fighter Okay, okay, we all know how this decision played out in the long run. But CM Punk made a hell of a ballsy choice to give up his pro wrestling security for the chaos and brutality of the world of MMA in 2014. The chick magnet would go on to earn the rank of blue belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Yet to this day, Punk hasn't recorded a single MMA victory and is nil two in his career. However, we're not here to talk about the man's record because my god have we done that. We're here to talk about his fascinating transformation, one that shocked his adoring wrestling following when he stepped onto the scales at the UFC 203 weigh-ins. Looking every bit as shredded as a Calvin Klein underwear model, Punk shed the guise of skinny fat WWE wrestler to reveal a man who looked fit for purpose to take on Mickey Gall until it became very clear that he wasn't. Number 3. Mark Munoz Kicking Depression's Ass Middleweight Mark Munoz was a man forever known for being in the best shape possible. So when he finally thought his chance to win a world championship was beginning to formulate in the form of a number one contendership bout with Chael Sonnen, you could imagine his disappointment at having to pull out of the fight due to a recurring elbow injury. He would return to face Chris Weidman at UFC on Fuel TV, suffering his worst defeat of his career via TKO whilst also breaking his foot, which would leave him out for a year. No one could have foreseen the downward spiral this would send Munez down. The news of him being shelved for a year sent Munoz into a self-proclaimed tailspin, which resulted in depression and him ballooning up to 260 pounds. In the end, his dependency on food was replaced by the support of his training partners, and he returned in 2013 to defeat Tim Boyd at UFC 162, dropping a remarkable 75 pounds to hit 185 pounds on the night. If you ever needed an inspiration for dealing with depression or even overcoming your own demons, Munoz's story is definitely worth remembering. Number 2. Joe Riggs – Heavyweight to Middleweight Now this is just ridiculous. Joe Riggs has competed in four weight classes. If you look at him fighting at welterweight in 2005, the man ended up weighing nearly double that just a couple of years later. Double! After kicking some serious ass in the regional scene with a 13-2 record at heavyweight, he would sign for WEC where he first dropped down to light heavyweight and won five of his six bouts in the company, two of those even lighter at middleweight. It's therefore a shame that after finding initial success at his lowest weight, beating Chris Little in his division debut, he would miss weight for his title match versus Matt Hughes, meaning his eventual loss to the man would be a non-title bout anyway. Diesel would flirt around the welterweight, middleweight and light heavyweight scenes both inside and outside of the UFC for the next decade before eventually taking up bare knuckle boxing. Number 1. Conor McGregor – £145 to £165 Conor McGregor finds himself at the top of yet another list. Surprise, surprise. Well, at least this time it's for a positive reason. Mystic Mark has actually competed in three weight classes with varying degrees of success. At featherweight, the Irishman would knock off Max Holloway, Dustin Poirier, and the legendary Jose Aldo in stunning title-winning fashion. At lightweight, he would conquer Eddie Alvarez to become a champ champ, becoming the first man in the company to hold two championships simultaneously, before losing to Khabib Namagamedov for the undisputed lightweight title. With all that being said, the most remarkable remarkable decision in McGregor's career to date, besides thinking he could outbox the greatest boxer of his generation, Floyd Mayweather, was the moment he decided he could be a welterweight with just 11 days notice. Jumping from £145 to an apparent £166 on the night of his fight with the £181 Nate Diaz, the notorious one climbed a mountain to reach that weight. 
He was choked out in their first battle, but would claim a unanimous decision win in the rematch at this unfamiliar weight. McGregor is a lot of things, but you can never question the man's guts. Gaining 20 pounds in less than two weeks and carrying it like a champ into a fight with one of the welterweight division's finest cannot be sniffed at. And that's our list. Are there any other UFC body transformations that could make this list? Let us know all about them in the comment section below. And do not forget to like, share, and click on that subscribe button. I've been Gareth from What Culture Combat. Thank you very much for watching, and I'm sure that I'll see you soon.